Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud Support videos. I am Pooja from Informatica Global Cloud Support team. I would walk you through the steps involved in creating alerts on data integration task using Operational Insight Service. I hope this video will help you all Informatica customers and audiences to get regular updates on their task on receiving an anomaly. Let me walk you through few basic points on why and how we exactly set an alert within Operational Insights. You can configure Operational Insight to send alert notification for data integration jobs, configure alerts on specific jobs or all the jobs in your org. For example, you might want to configure an alert to notify you when the mapping task in a project have been running for more than five minutes or if it has failed or if it has thrown a warning and you would get an alert on it. You can configure alerts on the following data integration assets like mapping tasks, synchronization tasks, replication task, power center task or any of the task flows. You can configure alerts on the following events. Say for an example, a job is in a specified state, warning, failed or running continuously without stopping. The duration of the job has crossed a configurable threshold. You had expected a job to finish in two minutes, but it took almost 20 minutes and it has degraded the performance. The number of rows processed and crossed a configurable threshold. You were expecting a job to load 1000 records and it loaded only 500. An error row count has crossed a configurable threshold. You do not expect too many records to come into the errors. You can receive notification on getting such anomalies within your org and on receiving the notification on a timely manner, you can take necessary actions like restarting the jobs which are failed or running the jobs which stopped. Now let's have a look on how exactly we can do this. Log on to your Informatica Cloud org. Navigate to Operational Insight application. Select Alerts. Click on Data Integration Alerts. Click on Create Alert. You have a toggle button here to enable or disable this particular alert. Give a name. Choose if it is for the entire org, like all the tasks within your org, or if it is only for a particular task or asset. Make a valid selection. Decide the alert condition. If you want to put an alert if a job is continuously running, if it is failed, throw in a warning, or if it is successful. Say for an example, if it is successful, what threshold would you like to set an alert for? If it has processed some definite number of rows or if it has not processed some expected amount of rows, if the duration was greater or less than the expected one, and on the error row count. For now, let's say if a job was failed. Choose an email address of the user within your org. For now, we have the option to select any user or a user group which is inside Informatica Cloud and external users are not listed here. So you would not be able to give the email address of any external user which is not native to IICS. We can give the email address and select the user 
and click on save. As you can see, we have this alert which is saved, which is enabled. We can also go back and edit it and we can say that if it is failed, restart it and send a notification to, to these users or we can even edit and disable this. To be able to do this within your org, you would need to have the licenses enabled for that particular org, Operational Insights Advanced Edition and Operational Insight Base Edition. So to conclude in this video, we saw how we launched Informatica Operational Insight application and set an alert on existing task. This would definitely help the users to avoid any unexpected activity happening within the org like failures, performance degradation, data load issues by taking necessary actions on time and hence helping the business run smoothly without any impact. Thank you for watching the video. We would love to hear back from you and you can provide your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or informatica support twitter handle. Thank you.